Today I'm going to explain Ohm's Law and Kirchhoff's Law. Ohm's Law is the formula V equals IR. V is a voltage. I is the current. And R is the resistance. I am now going to draw a circuit. The longer side is the positive side, so this is positive and this is negative. And I will also draw some resistor, a resistor here. So, voltage is the amount of electrical energy traveling in a circuit. So, if this circuit has 20 volts, and this resistor is 5 ohms, then what is the current? So to find the current, you use the formula V equals IR, and then 20, so 20 equals 5I, so then 4 is I. So the current is 4 amps So now I'm going to add more resistors in the circuit. And if this is still 20 volts, and this resistor is 6 ohms, and this resistor is 4 ohms, then what is the current? So then in this case, you first have to add the, res the, re uh, the, the ohms, the resistors. So the resistance is 10 ohms, and then you just use the formula. So then it's 20 equals 10i. So I is two. So there is so the current is tw is two amps. So this is a circuit. So first I'm going to find the current. So then the total current is six plus four because you add the resistors. So then two is the current. So then to find the voltage drop, you do the total current because the current stays the same in a 
series circuit times the resistance. So the voltage drop here is 12 volts and here it is 8 volts. And that would add up to 20. So the total voltage drop is 20 volts, which is being used by the resistors. And the total voltage going into the circuit was also 20 volts. So then according to Kirchhoff's law, the voltage that goes in a circuit is the same as the voltage that goes out of the circuit. I will now draw a parallel circuit. So then if if this is 5 ohms and this is 4 ohms and there's 20 volts in the whole circuit then to find the current for this circuit you would do V equals I R so then 20 equals 5i, so then 4 equals i. And then for here, you would do the same thing. So 20 equals 4i, so then 5 equals i. So in the parallel circuit, this is 20 volts, 5 ohms, and 4 ohms. So then this is 5 amps and 4 amps, 5 amps and 4 amps. So then the total current leaving this circuit is 9 amps. So that means the current um, coming out of the circuit would be 9 amps according to Kirchhoff's law. So if 4 amps goes here, then 5 amps would be remaining to go here because the, because the current is split among the resistors. So the short introduction on Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's law, thank you.